California dreaming about you here and today we are going to finally start on our whatsapp uh, project and we are going to start with a really quick uh, lesson we are simply going to initiate the project and take care of firebase so initiating a project in firebase so let's go right ahead and open up android studio and we are going to initialize a new project in android studio so let's give it a second Okay, so after it has finished loading, we are going to go ahead and start a new Android Studio project. Okay, now you are going to choose where you want it to be. I'm going to choose this folder. I'm going to call it What's a Clone. Okay, uh, change the company name to domain to some something related to you. Don't use the same as I do. Uh, make sure the package name is different from this one, otherwise um, problems might arise, might arise uh, within it. Okay, okay, okay. And now we are going to choose API 15. Uh, it is a bit low, but if we must, if we need to um, make it uh, a most a more recent one, um, then we will during the lessons. Click next. We are going to start with an empty activity and main activity. Yeah, that's okay. We are simply we simply want to start the project, so we are, aren't going to to bother with any of this at the moment. Let it build, and I'll get back to you once it has finished uh, doing all of these things. Okay, so here we are. You should have something that looks similar to this in your uh, screen right now. Uh, the Gradle is still running, but that doesn't matter. We can go ahead and do whatever we need to do. And now we are going to associate this project with a Firebase uh, project. So let's go into Tools, Firebase. And uh, you can do all of this manually using the, the Firebase dashboard, but I'm going to do it through the Android Studio. So first of all, let's uh, start authentication. So click email and uh, password authentication. Okay, so now click connect to Firebase. And the dialog should appear and it uh, asks you to create a new project or to use an existing one. I'm going to choose an existing one because I already have it. And it is WhatsApp. I'm going to connect it to Firebase. Okay, just give it a second so that it can fetch everything, but it should be almost done. Okay, so after that, uh, it should appear connected in here. If not so, then try to do it manually through the dashboard. And in here, let me just go back so that I can show you. Um, this is your dashboard, so in here all of your projects should appear. And if you, I go into WhatsApp, click the cog, and then go to Project Settings, my uh, um, project will appear in here. So this uh, has a certificate fingerprint that's associated to this project right here, and so on and so forth. So that means that it is all good. And if you go into uh, Projects uh, App. Uh, then Google services.json should be here. If it isn't, then you have to do it manually by downloading the Google services.json and moving it inside this folder right here. So it is simple. You just have to be careful about a few things. Uh, but yeah, that's all that I wanted to do today. It's just make sure that you have Firebase connected so that we can seamlessly uh, start working on the login, registration, and then database and storage in the future. If you had any problems, then please uh, comment in the simcoder.com slash forums. Uh, this whole process is pretty straightforward, but mm, some errors might occur. So yeah, in the next lesson, we'll actually write some code, some real code, and we'll get the authentication working. So, but yeah, that's all for today. It, it is a, a short one today, I told you. So yeah, I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.